Hi guys, Bricknut here and today I've got a LEGO City set review. It's set number 60152 and it's called Sweeper and Excavator. It comes with the truck, excavator, trailer, a few accessories and two minifigures. And I'm going to start with the minifigure. You've probably guessed Slightly different layout. I'm behind the camera because I've got it on a tripod now. Anyway, here's our first figure, female. She's got a very detailed torso there. You can see the little zippers there and a little tassels for a hoodie top under there. I actually love how my camera is focusing on her head. It's tracking her head. That's that's quite weird. Um, Anyway, a little, a few markings on the back of her torso, a little radio, a hood. She's wearing a hoodie under a work jacket. She's got the um, helmet with the moulded on hairpiece, which I've seen used quite a few times. And of course, oh, she's had enough for the day. <laughs> Here's our guy. Now he's got the safety goggles on, he's also got the helmet with the moulded on uh, air defenders. And he's wearing a totally different uniform and I'm not sure why Lego did that. But he's got his reflective stripes going that way, same on the back. And he doesn't have a radio but he's got a pair of pliers or something sticking out of his back pocket. Yeah, there's, there's just... <coughs> Not as much detail. Oh, this is actually a, a um, high visibility vest because you can see his uh, brown sweater zipper there coming through. And he's got the brown arms to indicate he's got a, zi um, a top on underneath the safety vest. So I'm going to stand these two off to one side. And get the handful of accessories. And uh, you get to build this little corner wall piece that could be part of an old building or something you're um, according to the um, pictures you're supposed to uh, demolish or finish demolishing I suppose one of my favorite colors this color of brick I would love to get some more of that you get the sign which is your basic uh, sign post your sign just clips onto it and uh, you've got the amber warning light on top. The sign itself, that's a sticker. Not much else to say about the sign, but these are different. You don't get traffic cones with this one. You get these um, sort of uh, marker posts. Um, I'm not sure what they're called. But I have seen similar things like this used... In real life, in European countries such as um, Germany and Finland and Denmark and Holland and whatnot, so they are some sort of construction marker, but I'm not sure what they're actually called. You get a couple of those, and uh, well, that now leaves us with the uh, main part of the set. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to reach over and just separate the trailer from the truck. So we can start with our truck. This is a bit fiddly. But uh, here we go. There's the front view. The sweeper's made up of two of the little sweepers. That's side view, rear view. It's got four tools clipped in the back there. Shovel, broom, jackhammer and a wrench. Yeah, side bits also fold down. This side is just identical to the other side. There's a view from the top. Cab pops off like that, so you can put your driver in. If you notice, my steering wheel's on the right hand side of this truck. When the instructions always say to put it on the left, the reason I've done that is because my town is meant to be based on 
a British town and we drive on the left hand side of the road over here like they do in Australia and Japan and a few other countries which means our vehicles have the steering wheel on the right hand side of the vehicle so all my Lego vehicles that I've got where I can swap the steering wheel around like that are um, I've converted I'm guessing that's why Lego made it that easy to swap it so if you so wanted to you can it's got the usual style of side mirrors there you know they just clip on with the little ratchet hinge there the sweeper you can adjust it in lots of different directions just like the real thing and because it's on a ball and socket joint you can actually take it off and remove it completely and just have the um, truck one thing I would like to ask Lego is why they make a lot of their trucks like this based on the Mercedes Unimog I mean anyone that knows their vehicles will instantly see and probably say it's you know it looks like a Mercedes Unimog I right, can see and I've got a far one over on my window ledge and I know I've got the snow plow and they all look similar they all look like a Mercedes Unimog to me not complaining it's just an observation it's, you know it's just it's not the first time the Lego company has uh, based a vehicle on the Mercedes Unimog I don't know if it's intentional but uh, anyway we'll move on I'll put our truck over there we'll get our little excavator now this has got a different design on the chassis it's got those two Technic bars there with the 2x2 um, two two brick in the middle here with the axle pin on either side so it's actually quite, it's a very strong chassis for this, but very simple as well. And it's got the uh, boom, which is all connected with the ratchet type hinges, which is great if you want to pose it. But uh, there's one disadvantage. Well, having said that, it's a disadvantage if you want to pose the vehicle. If you're building a town like I am then it could be a bit of a disadvantage but if you're playing with it you know if you're a kid and you want to play with it like kids would it does move really really freely and roll really really well which might make like I said posing it in a town a little bit difficult because I can guarantee you'll knock it at your table or if you've got a cat like mine he'll run across the table and you'll be forever resetting your digger <laughs> oh the cab also tilts like they do on all of these I'm actually thinking they should come out with a different sort of cab piece so I'm not keen on that design it looks good on the forklifts they've done but it just doesn't suit these mini excavators yeah. The other thing I wish Lego would do is make a smaller bucket for these excavators. Keep it this design but just shrink it in length so it looks more like an excavator bucket and not a big old loader bucket because that to me just looks far too big for this. But other than that, I did enjoy that as a little build. I've got a couple of stickers there on the back. Okay, I'll put that over to the side here. The last piece is the trailer. Which is probably one of the easiest and quickest builds. It's um, pretty simple. It's got four wheels. Twin axle. That's the underside of it. So you can see what that looks like. It's got the rear here. The whole bit just folds down like that. So you've got a ramp. And the digger does actually um, roll up that really really well to be honest I'm going to need two hands here aren't I? hang on a minute I need longer arms I'm going to have to stretch or something <laughs> but yeah that does roll up easily like that that then closes to hold it on you just fold your loader bucket down and it's ready to go 
you hook it up to the back of your truck like so the usual ball and socket type joint and there you go they're ready to go now they're up I've got to put their markers in the back there and their their work sign put their sweeper on the front so they can clean up the mess afterwards now they're ready to go there we go so what do you all think of this set? Has anyone actually bought this set yet? Um, I, I couldn't decide when I was in the store. So I just sort of uh, <laughs> walked away with that because I had that set I was looking at in my hand and I was looking at the other sets on the shelves and you know I could only afford to get the one. So uh, I just literally walked away from the toys department in the store. <laughs> <laughs> with this one and went and bought this one. I'm actually glad I did because I did want this one when I first saw the pictures. Um, I actually like the blue and yellow colour scheme. I think that goes together quite well. Anyway, I think that sums up this uh, review. So uh, if you've got any comments on this set, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And uh, I guess on that note, thanks a lot for watching. If you wish to, feel free to subscribe. And if you like the video, feel free to hit the like button. And I will talk to you again in the next video. Bye bye for now.